All right, we enjoy passing along great financial tips that can help your bottom line. Many people put off investing money because they think, well, you need thousands and thousands of dollars to do that. No, you don't. Our next guest says that is not the case, and you can start with a few easy strategies that are really going to pay off. Top money expert Jamie Bryant is here with all the details. Look at you. Oh, it's good to be here, Bill. You're great. And good to have as you. soon as I thought about it and I said, I said six, I thought of a seventh. I probably, okay. if I sat here longer, I'd think of an eighth and a ninth way. There's we can, always she can go all day, way. Just That's right. We can just keep on. adding on ways to invest. All right. So those <laughs> of us who don't have a lot of extra scratch need a way to put it away. And it's very easy. And and the one that we leave out the most, millions of people leave this one out, mm -hmm. participating in their work retirement plan. You cannot afford not to participate. And many of the work plans will allow you to probably put in $10 a paycheck or $25 a paycheck. Yeah. There's no excuse. And they leave a lot of match money on the table yeah. when they don't participate as now, well. Now, the match money is not like it used to be years ago, but there's still some there. And I, you know, when my son started the, their careers, I went, Sign up Good. for this before you even get that first paycheck. Good. Because when you get that first paycheck, you won't see that money that you it's true. took out. And you and feel so like you I can't it. afford to. Yeah. But that was great advice, and yeah. I think that every parent should tell their young people to do that. All right, so number one is uh, get involved with the work plan. What's and then and then many people don't have a plan at work. Somebody is at home right now saying, well, I don't have it, so I don't have to worry about that. No, well, you do have to worry about your future and make your own. You could do an individual retirement account, and many individual retirement accounts can be opened with small amounts of money, maybe $100, maybe $50. It depends on how you decide to set up the account. Talk to a financial advisor, talk to a financial institution, find out what their minimum for an individual retirement account or a Roth IRA individual yeah, There's lots of different account. IRAs out there to right. choose from. That's right. Okay. That's right. All right, invest in training is one of those. In training, I like that one because you can, say, take a speech class or take a public speaking class or um, for $100, and it could change your whole presentation. Take a... A uh, class on sales skills. Take a, um, a makeup class and learn how to do makeup for people. Um, you can all of these can create new career opportunities and additional income opportunities by just making a small investment in training. I just uh, recently did a program with a group of nurses, mm. and they literally have to update because the science Good. Too, so they, that, that's their job. As part of their job is making sure that they take those training classes to keep up. That's true. But, with each training class, a little bump in pay. That's so right. Comes along. So and that's I'm, a... I know a nurse that does bookkeeping on the side. <laughs> <laughs> so it, that's additional sources of income yeah. from getting that training. Yeah. All right, mutual funds and ETFs, uh, that means enough to feed everybody. That's it's right. It, uh, <laughs> exactly. Is that what it means? Ex no, exchange traded funds. Oh, okay. Uh, versus, well, we got all these chefs. Versus on the show. <laughs> just a mutual fund. And I, the, definitely, but I'm glad that you asked that because we use terms a lot like ETF and yeah. people don't know what we're talking about. But What's it mean again? The e exchange traded fund. You know, okay. so so that you can act. The tr it's traded throughout the day like a stock. So it's oh. a it's a fund, a mutual fund, but it's traded ever, all throughout the day. Versus a regular mutual fund is traded at the end of the day at four o'clock. So you sell it during the day or buy it during the day, but you don't really own it or sell it until four o'clock when the market closes. So ETFs are actively traded, and generally they're based on modeling and, and index. So. A, completely different investments, but ETFs have become very popular. So definitely, um, they are a way for you to invest with small amounts of money each month if the ETF that you're interested in has the monthly investment available. Mutual funds, we know that historically. Oh, these are people that uh, don't necessarily work during the day and they're day traders. No, 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 no totally no. different. Well, that's just, different. Just people who <laughs> don't want to worry about individual stocks. Okay. And then also, I know, that seventh one I was saying that I should have thought about was, and it goes along with this, is the drip plans. And you've probably heard of that. The dividend reinvestment plans, where, like with the utility companies, yes. some, that will allow you to just put in a, lot, a little bit of money with your bill sometime, mm -hmm. and then you can put in like $50 or $25 every time you pay your bill, but you're investing into that company's specific stock 
or there's a whole bunch of companies that have what are called dividend reinvestment what plans. What if I want to uh, put that extra money in my mortgage payment every month? Is that is that a way, is that called saving? That's a good point. That's an investment. You're trying to lower the amount of interest that you're paying. Mm -hmm. That leads to one of the six on paying down debts mm -hmm. using, um, w but when I think of that, I'm thinking mostly of high interest rate debts like credit cards, because oh. that's an automatic return on your money. You have an 18% credit card, you pay an extra $50 or $100 every time you pay that bill, you're getting an automatic return so you on your money. pay that down every month? Every month, every week if you can. Wow. Pay it down, but that's a guaranteed return on your money based on the interest rate that you're paying on that credit card. Okay. So Every it's week. it's it's real. That's she, right. I mean she thinks about this a lot. <laughs> that's that's right. That's right. That's and, what and, she does. And it's so true and it's so important to um, even consider investing in your own business. Now, out of all of the tips of investing small amounts of money, the, I mean, I am an example of starting a business in 1995 with very little money. I did, I'm sole owner of my company, but because I started such a long time ago, mm -hmm. my investment at the beginning was small, but its return over the years has She's been a tremendous. Of industry now. That's, That's right. But <laughs> invest in your own business you is go. a true investment. Yeah, and yourself. Doesn't take much. Big thank you to our friend JB Bryant. She offers free money seminars every Wednesday at noon and Sunday evenings, too. Pre registration is required. You find a link to more information, WTVR.com slash VTR.